every society, there's a need to shore up support for the marginalized and those who are physically challenged. And that's why the Ghana Blind Union is asking for more measures uh, from authorities and uh, benevolent individuals to support the works of the community. The community has been working on alternative livelihood uh, for its members and is urging for more support as it carries out its activity. Uh, let's bring in now uh, Dr. David Azari, who's joining us all the way from northern Ghana. He's in the capital today, and it's such a pleasure to be talking to you, sir. He's the president of the Ghana Blind Association. Welcome to our studios. Thank you very much. Mm. I'm very honored, highly honored to be here in the studio of joy. Mm. And I really want to appreciate all of you for this singular opportunity. Mm. It's really great. I'm okay. greatly honored. Indeed. And we're also honored to have you. Let's talk about um, your association. Yes. Um, how has the journey been so far trying to empower uh, those who are differently abled in our society? All right. Thank you very much. Um, um, the Ghana Blind Union is one of such uh, organizations. In fact, we are one of about eight groups in the Ghana Federation of uh, Persons with Disabilities. Right. Yes, and we take care of the blind persons and partially sighted persons as mm. well. Mm. Yes, we advocate for, or we are a voice for the, the blind persons and partially sighted people. We advocate for them. We see the government, we try to do everything that is possible to let them have a very meaningful living. Mm. Yes. So this is what we do as a union. Right. Yes. Let's talk about uh, the need for a support and a push for your association. How, how urgent is it? And what, what do you have to say about where we are as a country in terms of our readiness and support towards um, your federation? Thank you very much again. And uh, I will say that of course, the government is doing its best to help persons with disabilities. Mm. Uh, for instance, there is this 3% common fund for persons with disabilities. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But I must say, as one of the managers of the fund in my own municipality, that's Boku, it's woefully inadequate in terms of helping the many, many, many persons with disabilities. For instance, we number in Ghana, those who are registered with us in this union, about 24,000. 24,000. In Boku, I can say the, the blind persons and partially sighted people are over 1,050. So with 3% of the common fund coming from the government sources, it's really nothing to write home about, even though it's quite helpful. It's very helpful indeed. Okay. So if, yes. if, if we're to change the narrative and to try and show up support, what, what should be the priority for, for instance, government and for those individuals and groups that would want to come through with support? Yes. I came into the office with empty coffers in our, in our, in our bank. Nothing at all. So what we would want is if we can get support more from uh, corporate uh, groups mm -hmm. such as these factories, right. like these uh, media groups, like uh, the, the, the so, uh, what, MTN and mm -hmm. Tigo and Vodafone groups, like philanthropists. I know there are so many people who are quite capable or able mm -hmm. enough to just sacrifice something to help the blind persons mm. in Ghana mm. to get meaningful life, to get better life for themselves. I know it's possible. Mm. That is it. So if we could get that help mm. from civil society, politicians, um, uh, I mean rich people who can just sacrifice something for us, it will help us a lot. So, and some of them as social corporate responsibility just to target the blind persons. Mm. This is what we can do for you every year. Take this amount. Mm. It will help us a lot. Mm. Yes. I, th I can imagine the situation being quite challenging for, for that blind person who's a, a student. Yes. For instance, a student um, 
in the classroom as we speak who is in dire need of support of brails and uh, all the necessary uh, aids that that will make i mean education effective for them uh, what, what what's the situation like for for such individuals uh, the the kind of blind union you know, we have a, a project for students but again when it comes to finances we are lacking so many of them very brilliant yes they they really want to study they want the teaching and learning materials such as the braille sheets such as the their stylos such as computers even laptops for them to be able to match up with those sighted students but it is not there the money is not forthcoming yes and the little that we can do usually from the common fund we try to do a little bit for them but still they, it cannot match at all with them and more so when they are to study with sighted people they have to take the same exams with the sighted people it's not very good at all uh -huh. so what my priority for students is that let every child who is blind or a blind a child go to school and whatever support you can give them do so there are some yes blind uh, institutions and schools in ghana that can help but we also have what we call uh, integrated schools where the blind persons or blind students and others are all in the same school learning together so they they really need a lot of help in terms of these uh, things that i'm talking of teaching and learning aids yes okay uh, the frameworks policies and laws that we have currently existing do, do you feel that they are supportive enough not very much for instance again we have what we say the the the, the act on the national disability act or council that should really see to the policies that should help persons with disabilities or in for that matter the blind persons come up very well but it is on paper very very good all the policies the plans are there but when it comes to really promulgating them it's a big problem it's a big big problem so we have everything on paper framework policies very good but when it comes to uh, putting them to practice it is not happening at all so as for that we we in ghana as somebody said we are very good at making policies but the implementation is another thing otherwise we have all the good good policies about it but when it comes to action i think that is not enough <laughs> in your last engagement with government um what, what was paramount out of that engagement with government and the various stakeholders uh, the, the, and what, 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 what was the commitment from the authorities in terms of tackling some of these challenges that you're pointing out yeah one of the points that we are raising is that yes there is a three percent common fund to persons with disabilities to be lodged in the account of each metropolitan or municipal or district assembly to take care of the, the persons with disabilities can't the government see to uh, the, the mother unions or what I would say the central or the secretariat? That's where the real policies and monitoring and administrative work comes from. So we're thinking if uh, there could be a way that uh, the government can also find a way to s source the, these secretariats maybe the Ghana Federation of Persons with Disabilities organization so that it can be distributed equitably to the various uh, secretariats to help them in their administration. Or the other thing is if the 3% could be increased to help us. I know it is difficult, but it is workable. They can do it if they, they will to help us. I understand if they make it 4% or even 5%, it will go a long way to help with the persons with disabilities, especially for the blind persons. We have, so far from the 3% alone, we have achieved a lot with it.
So if it is made four or five, you can see. We can go a, a, a high, a higher than that. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, let me take your message to those who are viewing us now. And uh, I'm sure those in authority are also watching us. What, what, what would you like to leave us with uh, in terms of the message from your association to the people of Ghana? Yes. From my point of view, I will say, please, Mr. President, Vice President, and in fact, the ministers that are for the social protection, if you are listening to me, I want to make a special appeal. Please, can you do something more about the fund that is coming to the persons with disabilities? Mm. It will help us a lot. And um, sometimes we also need their support maybe to go out to uh, international meetings with others. We need their support to help us to also join our colleagues in the world of the persons with disabilities to have such conferences. Mm -hmm. If they will help us too, it will be very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, then. Uh, Dr. David Azari, we are grateful we are very, uh, for, very grateful. For time. And indeed, we'll see you once more. Thank you. Uh, when, of course, this I am very, very thankful to Thank you. you. Okay. And I want to specially mention my sister, mm. MFA Eli, who has been so instrumental in bringing me here. Yeah. I'm mm. so grateful to her. And for that matter, all the Joy FM newsroom mm. people, mm. I'm very grateful. And it's always a delight having you in studio. Thank you. Thank you well, very much. Uh, we'll and God bless you all. Shortly Thank after you. this break. Okay. Great. <laughs>